What's up, y'all? It's just Jay checking in with you to show y'all how to take a store-bought pineapple and grow your own pineapple plant. So due to the super low volume that was um, done during recording, the initial recording of this video, basically I have to do a voiceover for the first part of this video. So I'm sorry, it's going to be just excuse the little jump from voiceover to real time like speech later on in the video. Sorry about that. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get into it um, as you can see I got my pineapple here and what we're going to be doing is looking at the center of the pineapple when you go into the store you want to check to make sure that center part is not drilled out when you go to buy your pineapple sometimes people like to drill out the middle so that you can't grow your own pineapple so before you do anything you want to check to make sure that core is still intact um, you've got two methods to choose from after you've made sure that you got a pineapple with the little center part that's still in there. You can either, um, once you get your pineapple home, you can either start your pineapple top from water. Like some people will cut the top off and, and soak it in water so it can grow the roots longer. Or you can direct sow it and pot it in the ground. Me personally, I see that a lot of people on YouTube have videos where they've started the video, I'm sorry, started the pineapple in water um i chose to do mine direct so into the pot so that's what this video is going to do basically be doing is showing you how to grow it from the top straight into the pot um you can of course put this in the ground either or um works just fine but this method has been more successful to me because when i try to do it in water not one of those pineapple tops made it <laughs> but the direct so when i put it straight in the ground every last one of them has made it so that's why um that's what this video is going to be about so as you can see right here i'm taking a pineapple top and i'm basically gonna twist it off like it's a bottle top um i choose to do this instead of cutting it because i just get less meat to have to cut off at the end so just twist the top off and then once you've got the top separate it from the main part of the pineapple you're going to go back and cut the meat that little meat section right there you're going to cut that off a little bit later but um what you're going to be doing is now that you've got to separate it you're going to take the um little leaves the, all the roots that you're looking for are all up under all those little leaves so you're going to be peeling those off you're going to be peeling off the little leaves one corner at a time um, just from one end to the other you're trying to make sure you get the entire leaf off you know how sometimes you can rip something in half if you just move in too fast not really paying attention you want to try and get the entire leaf off because you're trying to expose the roots and you don't want a little piece of leaf that's left over because uh, you was moving too fast uh, and your root is still covered up so try and make sure you get the entire leaf off and the easiest way to do that is to just rip from one end to the next and do them one at a time so don't rush through it but you're going to notice that when you start peeling you'll start to eventually uncover some roots sometimes you'll see them immediately and sometimes you won't so if you start peeling the leaves off and you don't see anything right away it's okay you just keep peeling and eventually you should start seeing some roots um so i'm just going to keep going here just keep peeling taking them one at a time and I know this probably in a good angle but right there you can see where I've exposed a couple of little roots that's why um for my pineapple that's where it began to start uncovering the roots but you're going to try not to damage those roots once they're exposed um just and expose as many roots as you can so you're just going to keep peeling them off until you don't see any more roots anymore just keep going you can't really peel off too many of these but don't don't get too happy the way you you don't have anything left but the um the middle core of the plant just keep peeling until you don't see any more roots and once you get to that point then it's pretty safe bet to go ahead and stop see here i'm still uncovering roots
I think it's starting to get a little sparse here with the roots at this point. Yeah, I think I stopped seeing them. Okay, still going. Okay, so I stopped seeing the roots. And basically, I think I got a decent amount of roots exposed. So I'm going to stop the video right here. And I'm going to cut that extra piece of meat off of the bottom of the pineapple. And come back with a close-up. So I'll be right back. And you get a better view of the roots. A few moments later. Okay, y'all. So I'm back. And I've cut the, the meat off, as y'all can see. And as you can also see, this is a better view of the roots that were exposed. I'm trying to do this with one hand, so bear with me here. But see all the little roots? So basically all we're gonna do is take this pineapple top and we're gonna put it in the soil that we have um, over there in that pot that I showed y'all earlier. Well, I'm sorry, it wasn't earlier in this video. It was a previous video where I told y'all I killed a different pineapple plant by trying to refresh the soil so since that's a fresh pot of soil we're going to use that and basically all we're going to do is set this in the soil so it's not like you're burying it we're going to be sitting it in the soil up to about this area where it's white at you don't want to put it too far in there because if you do um it's not going to it's not going to do what you want it to do so Let's go ahead and go outside and put this in some dirt. All right, y'all, so I'm outside and I've already um, moistened the soil up. So basically, I'm just gonna go and push that in there, just like that. That's all I did was literally push it in the dirt. So as you can see, it's only covered up to about that white spot. Well, I'm sorry, my finger's all in the way. It's only up to where it was white up there, and that's it. So it's gonna feel like you don't have it in the ground good enough, but you do. And I'm gonna go ahead and water this in, and it's good, I'm done. So this method to me is a whole lot easier, like I said, because the other method with the water, you um, set the pineapple top in a, in a glass of water first and let the roots grow longer before you put it in the dirt so eventually you're gonna come out here and put it in dirt anyway so my thought process is why would i go through the, the transfer shock when i don't have to i can just go ahead put it in the dirt and let it do what it do it doesn't need those long roots to get established um if anything in my personal opinion it hurts the pineapple more by doing it that way again because of the transfer shock so this is the way i've been doing it this is my success and what's going to happen from here is the roots of course are going to get longer but as they do so all of these outside leaves are going to turn brown and ugly like real ugly but this center i don't know if you can see down in there but those center leaves that are in there that is what you're looking for as long as they stay green and they continue to live then you're good because all this outside foliage it can do what it want to do let it die um it's gonna get kind of brown and ugly and you're gonna think maybe it's not surviving but this inside piece is your tell it'll tell you how this plant is doing when your center dies your plant has died so as long as that stays nice and green and strong you're good to go and eventually it will recover to the point where it'll look like this right here so Thank y'all for tuning in. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And hope to see you guys on the next video. Have a great day. Bye.